Good day, Cell Wars fans. I'm Sandy Palmwater bringing you some great action as we see if the Compass can face off against a fleet of DF-65s. Now, last race, Mari took on the fleet, but then a disappointing finish, which wasn't only her fault or the boat's fault. She abandoned that boat and gave it up to Serenity, so we're going to see how Serenity can do in this race. Now, this race is brought to you by the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club, who races in Frederick, Maryland, usually the first Saturday of the month. And, of course, they are hosting the Region 2 Championships this year, so look them up on the internet. And don't forget, Cell Wars is on Facebook, so please friend us on Facebook. Now, let's go racing! Now, something I need to point out here in race two is that here in Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club, if you finish in the first three after race one, you start back on the Sail Wars line of excellence. Well, honestly, they just call it the line of excellence, but you're back where that red buoy is. There's another start line, and you have to start way back there. So it's a disadvantage, but it gives other sailors a chance to win, and at the Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club, it's all about fun and challenging yourself. And as we can see, they started, and already out on the end, we see the compass is having problems. And look at that, that peak boat of Connie is zipping up and has already caught up to some of the competitors that left from the first slide. As you see Kim coming onto the screen too. Currently, Mari is in first though. And now they're it's heading like up the, the course, they're racing away. one lap, and what they have to do is they go up and are around to port, they go around two marks. Then they head all the way back down the course to the far end, and at that end there's two marks, but they're yeah, gates. Like On a You're gate you great. go in between them, and you go out around and decide which one you want to go out and around, which brings strategy right. into the game. So we'll see how they deal with that. But as they make their way up the course, they have the, one of the marks is way out here to the right. I believe it drifted as we can see it right there, but it has made for a challenging course and everyone out here has loved it. So you have a real wide area in between those marks, but hey, everyone races by the same rules on the same course and it has been so much fun as we see Mari is the first around that mark and she is still in first place. Two other competitors make their way around. That's number 48 and 78. That's actually 748, Doug. And we can see way out there, I can see at the back. Starting to get in the mix, you see Mahi and Kim moving up through there. Now it's a good time to thank our Sail Wars volunteer for today. And today we have someone from the United States Air Force, Sterling, has volunteered and she is filming this race. And as we don't see the compass on the screen, I think I heard from the pit crew that the compass has broke down which is about the way the compass always races. It makes a little ways and then breaks down. So you can see the competitors fighting their way up to that second mark. Some are way out and some are trying to take an inside track. I believe that's the uh, closest boat to us. That may be Allen having a tough time. He hasn't even made it down to the first mark yet. It can be tricky at times, but the competitors love this lake. It's such a beautiful lake and it always has decent wind. And as they inch their way to that second mark, a couple of the boats have got some speed. We see Mahi on the outside is really hustling as we saw Dick the first around that mark there he is in 828 that red boat and he is hustling down the course 
and Bart was in second in that beautiful boat called Mahi. Let's get a close up of that boat so we can check the sail position. It's pretty tightly hauled right there. That means his sails are in pretty tight. And let's see how Mahi is. Mahi, yeah, he looks like he's about a quarter ways out. And then the boat right there in third place. I'm not sure who that is, but their sails were all the way out, I believe. And he's having a little bit of a problem with his steerage. Whoever's in third place, I believe that is Doug, I think. It's hard to tell at this distance. But Dick is currently in first in Mahi, that beautiful boat, is in second place. And I believe that is Doug in third. We'll have to see when we get a better shot of it. Might have been Kim. Now they're halfway through the race right now. Remember, they're racing one lap. And yes, Doug is in third, and here comes Kim, number 410. He is in fourth place, and look at onto the screen. Here comes Mari. She's got her sails all the way open, and she's got a good puff of air as we see. Kim opens his sails up, and he starts to accelerate, and there goes Doug, too. Let's see if Mahi on the outside. Oh, we can't see it, but there's that compass broken down out there. That compass just cannot stay running, no matter what they do, replace what parts. It just has been an issue. So I guess it's done for the race day, unless they can bring it to shore and see what part broke this time. Very disappointing compass. No, no. And as you guys know, we have, we're really disappointed in the compass too because we got no support from the manufacturer or the seller in parts to build, rebuild it. So right there, we see some boats heading down and there's that pink boat of Connie's. She had a little problem going between the first and second mark up there. But look at this. We have two competitors going for the inside gate, I mean closer to shore, and then the rest it looks like are going to the outside gate. Let's see who take, took the right turn there, who had the best strategy. I believe it's going to be Mari as she comes in close to shore, but she is sure steaming up the course. And you see in the middle now we can see Bart. So they're battling for first place. There they go. Mari's got the lead. And Bart's trying to come. Bart's got a better angle right to the finish line. But if Mari can just face a little bit into the wind, I think she's going to get this race. And then right behind her, following her up, that is Kim. They are nearing the finish line. Mari has got first place clearly under her belt. And it's all up. Let's see if Kim following Mari is going to pay off for him. And yes, Mari wins race two. Congratulations. She must like that a lot more than the compass. Good job. All right. And our second place boat, that is Kim and Jean Mahi and Bart, who takes third place. And way out taking fourth place, we can see Dick in his number 828 and number 48, 748, that's Doug taking fifth place. Now let's see who's going to take sixth place. Oh, it's a newcomer, one of the kids. It looks like Morgan in his first day racing is coming across and going to edge out a veteran Allen. Yes, number yeah. 09, Morgan takes sixth place, followed by our veteran, Allen, number 78, oh, takes okay. seventh. Okay. Well, I like that boat. That's, uh, called uh, RG and we have another boat, number 48, that win. came Woo, across, I believe. I think that was Mike. And then we see Connie coming across in eighth place. So from first place to eighth place, not good. And Serenity was piloting the compass number 65. It did not finish. Congratulations to our top three, Mari, Kim, and Bart. 
please subscribe to Cell Wars so you don't end up like this guy out of the middle of nowhere with bad luck. And please subscribe and hit like for more videos. Remember, all Cell Wars people are volunteers. They're using their own money, their own time to bring you these races and all these educational videos. So please, you know what you can do. Thank them by subscribing. It's so easy and it's free. And if you're a webmaster, please put a link to our YouTube homepage on your club's website so your people, your members can come directly to the source to look at over 150 different videos. And we have everything from tuning to new parts to different kinds of racings, all different classes. My guess is we've got a video for you. So, thank you for watching Sail Wars. This is Sandy Pondwater signing off, and I'll see you at the pond.